black people have come a long way since the dark days of slavery and colonialism. As you can now find them across various industries and business verticals, it's no surprise that some of them are on the list of the wealthiest people in the world. These individuals have overcome barriers and braved the odds to become a billionaire. Join us as in today's video, we will be exploring the black billionaires in the world. Let's dive in. Number seven, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is an American media mogul, television host, and author. She's a phenomenal, successful person. As a black woman who grew up in extreme poverty, molested, and lost a baby at a young age, she has come a long way. Regardless of the odds against Oprah, she has become an epitome of courage and determination, showing other young black women what's possible. Oprah has a net worth of $2.8 billion. She's had an illustrious career that reflects on her asset base, from working at a grocery store to winning the Miss Tennessee pageant, becoming the first black news anchor, and hosting the famous Oprah Winfrey Show. She's the chairwoman and CEO of Harpo Productions and Oprah Winfrey Network. Number six, Michael Jordan. He's the best basketball player of all time. Michael has won six NBA championships and 14 MVP awards. He was selected for 14 All-Star Games and was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Michael Jordan's current net worth is at $3.2 billion. Jordan is one of the most marketed sports figures in history. He has been a major spokesman for brands such as Nike, Coca-Cola, Chevrolet, Gatorade, McDonald's, Ballpark Franks, Rayovac, Wheaties, Hanes, and MCI. Michael still has his sponsorship deals with Gatorade, Hanes, and Upper Deck, who have come a long way with him since he retired in 2003. He also makes a great deal of money from his widely acclaimed shoe lines that includes 26 signature pairs. He also earns from his majority share ownership of the Charlotte Hornets NBA franchise. Number five, the Rabiu family. Abdul Samad Rabiu is the founder of BUA Group, a Nigerian conglomerate active in cement production, sugar refining, and real estate. In early January 2020, Rabiu merged his privately owned Obu Cement Company with listed firm Cement Co. of Northern Nigeria, which he controlled. The combined firm, called BUA Cement PLC, trades on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Rabiu is the son of late Khalifa Isyaku Rabiu, who was one of Nigeria's foremost industrialists in the 1970s and 1980s. Isaku founded Isyaku Rabiu and Sons, which is a family-operated holding company with a history of investment in manufacturing, insurance, banking, and real estate. Abdul set up his own business in 1988, importing iron, steel, chemicals, rice, edible oil, and flour. Rabiu has a net worth of $5.8 billion. He is also the chairman of the Nigerian Bank of Industry. Number four, the Adenuga family. Mike Adenuga is Nigeria's second richest man. His father, Oloye Michael Agbolade Adenuga Sr., was a school teacher while his mother, Omoba Juliana Oyindamola Adenuga, was a businesswoman of royal Ijebu descent. Mike built his fortune in telecommunications and oil production. With more than 60 million subscribers, his mobile phone network, Globacom, which is the second largest operator in Nigeria. His oil exploration outfit, Conoil Producing, operates six oil blocks in the Niger Delta. Globacom also built Glow One, which is a 6,100 mile long submarine internet cable to the UK via Ghana and Portugal. Adenuga's net worth is estimated to be around $6.8 billion. He also owns 74% of publicly traded gasoline firm Conoil and just under 6% of publicly traded Nigerian bank Sterling Financial Holding. Number three, the Stewart family. David Stewart is the founder and chairman of IT provider Worldwide Technology. Stewart faced poverty and racial segregation at a young age. He grew up with seven siblings and his father worked as a mechanic, janitor, and trash collector. After graduating from Central Missouri University, he worked in sales for the Missouri Pacific Railroad, Union Pacific, and FedEx before confounding Worldwide Technology in 1990. In the early days, Stewart sometimes went without a paycheck and once watched his car get repossessed from the office parking lot. 
Today, he's the owner of a $17 billion sales company, whose customers include Citi, Verizon, and the federal government. Stewart donated $1.3 million to the University of Missouri-St. Louis in 2018 to create the David and Thelma Stewart Institute for Jazz Studies. His current net worth is at $7.6 billion. Number two, Robert F. Smith. Robert F. Smith was the second child born to Sylvia M. and William R. Smith in Denver, Colorado. Smith is part of the fourth generation of Denverites on his father's side. His parents, both educators and supporters of the civil rights movement, were part of a black middle-class neighborhood, populated with prosperous, motivated wage workers and their families. Smith founded private equity firm Vista Equity Partners in 2000, which focuses exclusively on investing in software companies. With more than $100 billion in assets, Vista is one of the best performing private equity firms, posting annualized returns of 31% since inception. In October 2020, Smith entered into an agreement with the DOJ and IRS, agreeing to pay $139 million for his role in a tax evasion scheme. As a college student, Smith secured an internship at Bell Labs after calling the company every week for five months. An engineer by training, he worked at Kraft Foods and Goodyear Tire before getting his MBA at Columbia University. His net worth is estimated as $9.2 billion. Number one, the Don Godi family. Aliko Don Godi is Africa's richest person and the richest black man in the world, with a net worth of $14.4 billion. Don Godi was born into a wealthy Hausa Muslim family in Kano, which was then part of British Nigeria. His mother, Maria Sanusi Dantata, was the daughter of businessman Sanusi Dantata. His father, Mohamed Dangodi, was a business associate of Dantata. Through his mother, he is the great-grandson of Al-Hassan Dantata, the richest person in West Africa at the time of his death in 1955. Aliko founded and chairs Don Godi Cement, the continent's largest cement producer. Don Godi Cement has the capacity to produce 48.6 million metric tons annually and has operations in 10 countries across Africa. After many years in development, Don Godi's fertilizer plant in Nigeria began operations in March 2022. Don Godi Refinery at the Lekki Free Zone near Lagos began construction in 2016 and is expected to begin refining operations in 2024 by producing 650,000 barrels of oil per day. There you have it. It's not only about hard work, it's also about commitment, patience, and not giving up. If you found this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.